Right, good morning everyone. Now I've got um, three miniatures. Is it three? Yeah, three that I want to show you. Sorry, miles away. I've got the glue gun on and I'm just finishing off this little gate that I've made. Oh, I didn't know I was going to do it to a, to a little shed because I'm going to do a little garden scene, I think. And what I've found in my collection of everything I have... <laughs> Um, I've just put a little bit of decoration on just to show you that you can. So I'm going to show you how to make this. And like I say, these will fit on like that. I've got lots of miniature things. Now, I left these bits on because uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But I can easily take those off now, which I'm going to do. Just cut them off. Just turn that around and do it that way. And like I say, it's not finished on the back at all, but I will be finishing it. And I do have like a little, oops, that way, a little mini door handle that can go on there. Then with the hinges on, uh, like that, and like that, it can be used somewhere. This can be cut down if necessary. Uh, and for decoration, you can just put something on like that and colour it all in. So that can be gold as well. And you can do whatever. So I'm just going to show you how to do the door itself. And, and then I'm going to pop that somewhere safe and put it all together for the next project that I might be doing. So what you need are some little, uh, the, the thin ones, the popsicle sticks. I think you lot in America call them that. So, you do need a bit of glue. Just do that. You can find the straight ones, if you can. And pop that onto your decking, like that. And then you just put one next to that. So, right down that seam. And we pop in the next one. Push it down. Like that. And don't forget, you can have these as big as you want, you know, um, as tall as you want. I'm going to cut mine down, but this time I think what I'll do is I'll leave these on as the top of the gate. Now, I sometimes just sit and make miniatures, uh, and then I've got them ready when I'm doing a project. But I do want to do a little garden of some sort. Again, keep finding straight ones if you can. Doesn't matter about the glue on top, you can sand all that off, that's nothing. As long as you're getting the straighter ones. See, it all rubs off as the glue. And it depends how wide, of course, you want your project, uh, your gate. Like that. So I'm going to have mine probably that long. So I don't want a big gate. There's no point when you're doing a miniature. Although if you're doing a shed. I think I might make this into a shed gate, a shed door. But the gate is, is very similar. Now, Ray's just gone to get me some, as well as pick up my sister. Oops, Ray's just gone to get me some balsa wood. Because I do need to do the shed. And I'm going to try and do it using balsa wood. But I'm not going to try, I'm going to do it using balsa wood. So I do need um, a decent size door. Wooden door, that's it, like that. Anyone can make a miniature. I don't want to say, oh, I've never done one, can't do one. Oh, I'm not that confident. 
You don't need to be confident. You just need to get on and do it. <laughs> I'll say that. And people are going, but you're not moving. No, but if it don't work, do something else or change it. Never, ever, ever, ever panic, worry or anything about crafting. Honest to God, I do get a lot, and I mean a lot of... I'm not even sure that's straight myself, but it doesn't matter. That's going to be my doorway. It doesn't have to. It can be a crooked door, can't it? Do we need one more? No, I think that's enough for the door. Okay, so when you've done that, then what you need to do is to put another one across there. Like that. So try and keep that as straight as you can. Wipe the glue off. No problem. All glue wipe, wipes off. If you can't wipe it off, you can scrape it off. See, that's slightly bent, so I've got it in the right place. Now, I only want mine, so I'm going to mark mine off because I don't want it full length. I don't think I need my door any higher than that. So that's my guideline. So I'm going to need a line about there. Like that. So I need another one, preferably a straight one. Let's just move it in like that. That's good enough for me. I'm not bothered about this not being, um, you know, as tall. It's slightly moving down. I'm not fussed. When it's open, you won't tell anyway. I'll probably do this as an open one on a shed. Like that. So press that nice and neat. And then you want one that goes from there to there because that's your strengthener. So you take a piece of one of these. Sorry, you take one of the um, sticks and you want the edge of this side to go on that corner there and then the, this side of the edge on this corner. So you take your pen and very carefully, don't do what I do. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Mark that off. So line it up with that, like that. And this end exactly the same. Line that up with that. You may need to cut it a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. Just keep doing it until you get it right. Now, that's taken off a little bit of that. So that to me, I that, that will annoy me. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get another piece and do it again. And I don't want that. Oh, bum. Get it right, woman. Yeah, we're just going to cut it really quickly. You don't want to mess about with these types of woods. So let's just see if that fits. So that's going to go in there like that that you know what that'll do that will do me that's fine so we're just going to take this all the way to the bottom fit that side in first and then do that and then wipe off any excess now push that down like that now we can peel it off it's all dried see on the back but you can sand that down or whatever you want to do with it afterwards. Or basically just paint over it. If you're not going to see it, it really doesn't matter. Like that. Now, I can take my knife, my little knife. And you see all the little bits of glue. We can just scrape them off like that. And just scrape it off. Tidy them up how you want them. Now what I'm going to do is to cut this off carefully. Cut that end off carefully. Like that. Now 
It would do better if I had the sharper scissors. There we are. Use a big sharp scissor because it then just cuts straight through. Save all your oddments. You never know when you're going to need them. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is to cut the bottom section off. But I'm going to go there. I think that's wide enough for my gate, for my door onto the shed. But keep hold of that because you never know when that might come in, ha uh, come in handy. So we never waste anything. Although bits get flying everywhere. <laughs> so I'm just going to put these bits back. And we'll put that away as well. Okay. So now we've got... Um, the gate done. Now I'm just finishing this off. It needs another coat. Remember? One of those hearts we sell, I need to do the back as well, but I'm doing the front first. Another coat, and that should do that. And this we can take off and put in a little um, um, eye, like a little screw, and then we can use that as a pendant. We don't need to have that on. Or I could hang that as is. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get back to this. For the back, what I do... I'm going to put some glue in three places. I'm going to turn that around, flatten that down, and just let that dry. Okay? So while that's drying, we're going to go on to the next one. Now I need a skewer. Right, just let me make sure you can see because my battery cut out. Right, yeah, I think you can. So, um, I only need mine roughly, about that long. But there's enough there to do another one. So we just put that back in the packet. So just cut that. And then just get a little bag. Pop that in. I might need a bit of bag, actually. I have some at the side there. Oh, we're going to use a broom as well. We'll make the uh, brush as well, I think. But look, then all I need, let me just clear this space. Put my tools away. Get rid of all this. And it is just a gel, but I'm basically just going to put it on using a brush. So I'll just take some off the lid. Now, we need to make sure that those are out of the way. Those bits of wire. And then we just colour the broom. I'm just also going to colour the tops of there. And I know I'm going to have to do it again. But again, a little bit. And just to darken the bristles. Now, if I want to, and I think I will, I can shape these. Like that. Not quite how I want it. Just shape it to what you want. And then I'm just going to darken the bristles. And you've got a perfectly good broom now don't tell me you can't do that you can anyone can do look and let that dry 
but that's fab. Miniature broom. Easily done and anyone can do them. Now, I have a project that I want to do, which is the apothecary. I've been waiting years to make it. Reason why? I've been collecting everything for it. Plus the things I'm going to be making. And when I say collecting, there's a lot of glass bottles and things like that. So I've managed to get as many as I need. I'm just going to have a drink, sorry. Yeah, I've got to, as many as I need for the project now. Now what I'm going to do is um, we're going to make the brush. Now I do need a couple of these. I think we'll put three on. No, maybe four. So all I'm going to do, dob a bit of glue on there and put them two together. Like that. Again, a little bit more, about an inch. Now you can cut these first if you want to, but you know me, I do it the hard way. I don't actually do it the easy way. Take any glue off. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is um, take my little saw that's taking that one off You can do it with a knife if you've got a knife that will cut it. And then I just have to peel that off. Take my little clippers. Like I say, you can do it anyhow you want. Now, I just need a little bit of sandpaper. Um, I'm just going to remove that back out of the way. Just rounding the end off. I might flatten that end actually. That will do. I'm not that fussed over it being, any, you know, different. But now, <laughs> this is where we get a little bit tricky because you've got to take your bits, your straw or whatever it is you want to call it, right? And you can fill in, it doesn't matter. And what you have to do is you glue on top of there, right? And what I do is I attach that to there. And you just let that dry. Push the bristles into it. And you can take off, wait till it dries. And then we can take the odd bits out. Don't worry about all the oddments, you can put more back in. I'm just going to take those bits out. Okay. A little bit of glue in there. 
I'm just going to push those down into it. And then we take this like that. Don't worry about anything like that because they can actually be cut to measure it to size. Well, I'll have to do it with the let me do it with the snippers. You just cut it down to size. And anything that comes undone, we can glue that back on. I don't worry about anything like that because it can just be an old scrubbing brush. But you see? But this isn't a scrubbing brush because, you remember the handle? So what I'm going to do now, if the mop, is, if the broom's that size, then the mop's going to be about there, isn't it? Always hold on to the one with the uh, spike. Because I've seen it sh shoot off and come back. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. So, what we're going to do now is to put in a hole. Let me just see where my needle is. Uh, no, I don't need a needle. I can use this, I think. Just to put a little dint in. In the middle there. Just be careful with it. I've got my little spiky thing here. Just don't stab yourself. See, that's going through, so I don't want to do any... I uh, don't want to do too much. It's for the glue to grip hold. OK, so you need the flattest end of this. And twist. Glue it. And then twist. You can put um, what's it glue on afterwards. You know, um, like a, a strong glue. Let's hang on. Don't worry about any of this. You can just sand that down. That's fine. Right, so I can sort all of that out afterwards. So now what I need to do again is take hold of the <coughs> gel. It is just a gel. Let me just move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so like I said, there's the brush at uh, the broom, and then here's the sweeping brush. So uh, I need my little bit of gel. I would normally put the uh, strong glue on first, let that set, but I'm only doing this to show you, and then I would do this gel, because that's not quite sturdy. But if I had the strong glue on it, it would be. But I can do that afterwards anyway, that's not a problem. Yep, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. And then at the end, I will sand that down. In fact, I could I'd do it now. It's just to sand it off. Just to smooth it off, take hold of the gel. 
and there you go we've got a sweeping brush as well and again you can darken the bristles uh, you'd also make um, a wider one if you were doing um, you know the brush the hand brush for the steps what you'd have in the old days and things like that so broom sweeping brush nothing wrong with either you could do the little hand brush as well the same you know like this, what you brush the steps with and whatnot so we're just going to put those over here to dry and then we're going to put that back in the packet because I don't want to do a, a little brush yet I'm going to try and get my sister to do a miniature she wants to do a miniature she said she saw mine yesterday and she went oh because she packed it as well she's done a really good job at packing it it sold right away the little garden one that I did and I'm so pleased because uh, the lady that's bought it she will love it I'm sure she will anyway oh I might use that for the uh, gate so like I say let's get back to this we'll put those to one side a minute um, and we'll go to the gate because I've got another item to show you after this let's put the tools away and here's the gate so all we need to do is to trim off these little bits now like I say if it's not going to be seen, I've just done that by mistake. If it's not going to be seen, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, but that's the gate that's going to be opened. So I'm just going to colour that using the gel. I was going to paint it, but I thought, no, we'll use the gel. Why not? I'm just pour a little bit onto here. This I've had for years and it lasts a long, long time. <laughs> it goes a long way. Probably far too much. I can put it back in the bottle though. Just paint that. Like I say, don't be saying, oh, I can't do that. You could do this. You don't need the gel. You can use paint. You don't need paint, you could use just your felt tip pens if that's all you've got. Before I was um, able to buy stuff like this, I just used felt tip pens, food colouring, anything I could, and it still worked. Now, of course, I can colour this because it's the gate to a, um, sorry, it's the door to a shed. Of course, I can colour it. And we're going to make the shed out of the balsa wood. And I'm going to put the shed into a, a mini garden. So if anyone's interested, if anybody would like to buy it, get your dib, uh, dibs in first and let me know. I don't know how much it'll be. It depends what's gone into it and the tip materials used. But my miniatures are nowhere near what you pay in the shops, I'll tell you that now. I do it for fun. And as long as I cover my materials, uh, I'm fine with that. Now, I'm just going to paint the back. Even though it's got that on, it doesn't matter. I'm not fussed about it. The glue that's held it together. The door's not going to be open, open, so... Oops. Let's be fine. Ah, it just looks rustic. Looks like it's all part of it. That's fine by me. Oh, I actually like that. <laughs> Do it gives me ideas. <laughs> I'm bad. There we go. That'll do. And scrape that a little bit up because that will come in handy somewhere. There we go. We just have to let that dry. I'm not fussed about getting that on my fingers. And like I say, got some hinges that will go on. Now, let me just see. 
if I've got the right glue, which I should, this should do actually. Let me just see. Nah, this will do. I'm going to turn that that way. And let's just hope this works. Do I want to, I'm going to have it there. One there. And the other one. There, I think. And we just have to let that dry. Like that. Just have to let that dry. Hmm. And then I'm going to use the little door handle to put on the other side. Uh, I'm going to put some moss up the door as well. On my shed, it's going to be a well-worn one. <laughs> so that's it for now. So we've done the shed door. Um, and like I say, you can have it like that if you want. Fancy it up, do whatever you like. That was painted. Obviously, you can't see the other side. The brush, the broom, and the little thing that can go like that if you want it to. Okay, that's those. And I will be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back shortly with part two. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.